you. Kent Adams here, and welcome to the Pulse of Spokane. I've got, I was going to say an old friend, but old in terms of it's been like 15 years, <laughs> not in terms of age, because we're young. Judy's here. We're going to talk with Judy right after this. Spokane Realtors are dedicated to helping you find the right place to live. We're more than 2,000 strong, small business men and women guiding you through this most important purchase. We're also your neighbors, giving back thousands in volunteer hours to make our community a better place. We believe owning a home helps you live longer, with stronger families and better neighborhoods. That's who we are, ready to help you find your way home. Call one today. Well, as I said at the opening, one of the things I get to do on The Pulse is to have friends in as well as community members. And you cover both. Judy? Thank you. All right. You're going to have to help me. Okay. Oh, because I knew you by a different last name a few years ago. And it's Judy Rappensteiner? Correct. Phrase? Frayers. Frayers. Yes. Okay. You got it. Okay. Perfect. Ju Judy. It's Judy from the rest of this program. <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you have trouble keeping track yourself? No. No. Uh, Rabensteiner has been my name pretty much all my life. When you were a kid. Yeah. Yeah. From. I won't ask how long ago that was. Because, Thank you. <laughs> because, because we still act, act like kids, right? Of course. Of course. Of course. Age is a number. Okay. Where did we work together? We worked together at KHQ. Yes, we were in yes. sales, right? Yes, we were. Yes, and we were talking before we went on about some of the sales and. And, and so forth, right? Yeah. It, it's uh, a, a different game today, isn't it? Well, I think at the time we were working at KHQ, it was a lot about broadcast sales. Yes. And then as time went on, it became more broadcast digital. versus digital. Yes. And a, or a combination thereof. Right. So, right. yeah, it is different. Well, radio is different. Yes. Altogether. Yes. R yeah, radio and, and, TV. and TV. Yeah. Um, one of my good friends, and I've said it before on the air, is Neil Bowling, who is the general manager there. And, yeah. And we do some things together. Uh, we do this beyond politics where we get community members to, to talk. We've done some entertainment programs nice. where they will uh, share it on their face, Facebook page with sure. us and so forth. It's hard to book, get in and buy TV time these days because of syndication and national news and uh, all of that. And that minor little... Uh cost <laughs> oh yes 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 uh well we've found our niche and and actually um i think i might have said this before but but um we are working on adding a couple of brand new and exciting news programs here Yay. and we plan to be within the next year to year and a half the number one news deliverer in Spokane, beating even the broadcast stations. Wow. And, yeah, so, and a consultant. I like that aspiration. Yes, <laughs> ab absolutely. A consultant that we have down in, in Phoenix, when I, he said, well, how long do you think it'll take? And I said, oh, three or four years. He said, no, based on what's going on in broadcast and the volatility of broadcast mm -hmm. and what you're doing, Kit, you're where the, the, the folks are going to watch and listen and so forth. So oh, sure. anyways, but enough about us. You're with another, you're with a broadcast station these days, right? I am with Cool 107.1. That's cool. It is I cool. It is that. really cool. Yeah. Um, no, I came up through radio. Yeah. That's where I got my start in the broadcast business. Well, unlike um, me, I have a face for radio, but you have a face for both. <laughs> so. Oh, you're nice to say. Um, so, yes, I'm with Cool. It's the only locally owned radio station in Spokane. Okay. There's literally four of us, four employees, the owner, his wife, myself, and an admin. And it's got the best playlist yes. in town. Doing some of the oldies, right? A lot of the oldies. A lot of the so oldies, So 50s, yeah. 60s, 70s, 80s to the mid-80s. Okay. And also just short little commercial breaks. Okay. So you're listening to music and especially people that have it on like in their workplace, for example. Right, right. Don't have to keep going and changing. Right. Well, you don't have to listen to a lot of the, yeah. you know, so. I've, I've always found it interesting when, when radio stations talk about, well, 14 in a row. Well, that's fine, except then how many minutes or hours of commercials follow that? And we both know 
and the listeners know out there what they do when that commercial pod comes. Hardly anyone ever gets to listen to the commercials That's because exactly they're moving right. on to something else. Right. Know? Or they're turning the sound down or they're yeah. going off to do wash the dishes or put a load of laundry in because you don't want to sit and listen to 10 to 15 minutes of commercials. Right. right. Whereas uh, Cool has two minutes. Breaks. Oh, that's great. And that is really great. The rest is all music. And the thing is, too, that right in these times, music is so important yes. to bring us together as a community or just to distract us from the bad news yeah. that's out there. And these are songs that no other radio station is playing. Oh, good, good. I mean, Songs you would hear and think, I, I haven't heard that song in ages. Now, you have quite a transmitter. You're all over the area, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. We're Spokane, basically Spokane Coeur d'Alene. Okay. So oh. we're good. Um, it is a smaller radio station, so there's not as large a reach. Okay. But I'll tell you what, the people who listen are loyal. Oh, yes. And they... Because they know the what they're going to get. They're going to get the music of their time. Yes. Okay. And we all have a time. Yes. <laughs> Sometimes we have times, but we had <laughs> we had a time. And uh, with two minute commercial, I I I still kind of chuckle to myself when I watch TV because I watch it be just be, to new, the news and so forth to see what's going on and sure, of so course. forth. And when they have three and four minute, I've counted up to four and a half minute breaks in a news program, and I'm sorry what people are doing they're going somewhere else and we keep our maximum time for a commercial is is <coughs> excuse me is two minutes usually a minute and a half and even at the beginning of the program we want people to go away so it's usually 30 seconds okay because we know what the habits are of people we all do the same thing we yes. move on to something else or turn them down so we're we're aware of that uh on social media and they can be picky out there on social media and go other places. Well, yeah, media consumption by users is so fragmented now. It used to be that, you know, appointment television. So a show yes. was coming on at 6 p.m. and you couldn't not be sitting there at 6 p.m. Well, but, now we have DVRs yes. and we can record and fast forward and do whatever we want. So it's, it's really fragmented. And then also, like you're saying, with radio, it's usually people in their cars that are listening to the radio. Yes. But also online, social media, you have so many choices. That's true. That's true. So, and you're online with Cool FM, right? Yes, we are. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So I can sit there at my computer and others might not know. <laughs> well, oh, why does, wouldn't you want them to know? <laughs> I, 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 I don't care. I'm the boss. So I can kind of do what, yeah, I have to fight with Connor in there. About because, me, what music? Because some like? of the music he listens to is some of the oldies. But then he knows who, who all the bands are and everything else. And they're not some of the ones that I listen to at his age in the 20s, you know, early 20s and so forth. So, yeah. Well, that's one of the other nice things about Cool is that we've introduced a whole new generation to music that was not of their yes. adolescence, which to me is the time where you really embrace music yes, and yes. it becomes sentimental as you get older. But yeah, there's a lot of great artists that maybe kids didn't have uh, exposure or access to yes. when they were younger, but as they get older and they start kind of experimenting around and trying out different music, then they get on board with a lot of those older bands, especially the 70s, it yes. seems like. 70s and 80s. 70s, I would say. yes, I was going to say that. Um, are, are all your l local jocks local or are they, you got some national things coming in? How does that work? You know, I, I this is one of the reasons I wanted to come here, Ken. Okay. Is that radio used to be a different animal. Yes. So in 1996, the Telecommunications Act allowed for corporations to buy up yep. multiple TV and radio stations. iHeartMedia, for instance. Well, that's others. a good example. There's yes. many of those. Yes. Um, whereas Cool, 107.1 FM, Spokane, um, <laughs> Cool is locally owned, okay. and I know that you know through the pandemic, a lot of locally owned businesses really struggled. Yes, yes. And tr to make ends meet, we highlighted a lot of them on oh, ours. Oh, good for you, yes, yes. good for you. And so I just want to let people know that Cool will promote a local business like crazy. Good. And because it's smaller, yeah, 
it's it's a reasonable media buy. Yeah. So, but yeah, radio used to be like you were saying, you call the request line, you talk, you actually talk with the jock while yeah. he's on the air live. Right. Or and he may play your call back over the air. Right. Whereas now it's a lot of what they call voice tracking. Yes. So there's nobody they do all the recordings ahead of time in studio. They know what their playlist is gonna be so they can do their intros and outs. Right. Right. Um, and so it's a different, kind of a different world. It is. Did you ever see that movie FM? No. Came out, I think it came out like in early 1980s. But that is one of the th movies that I saw that made me want to go into broadcasting. Oh, really? Yes. Because it was the, the whole premise was management was trying to get them to do more commercial breaks and the the, the kind of the staff was like kind of pushing back yeah. on that. And then, you know, <laughs> it's hard doing things it. ensued, if you will. I don't want to give it away, but it's, it's a really great movie and it's got a super soundtrack. Linda Ronstadt. Uh, I just, I can't even think of all the stars that wow. were in it, but yeah, FM. And yeah. to me that represents what radio was. Yes. Yes, even back in the AM days, yeah. radio was that. I th I'm thinking back to the days growing up in Los Angeles. I know in Spokane there were a couple of top 40 stations. So there were three or four in Los Angeles because it's a bigger community and sure. so forth. We had KHJ, we had KW KFWB and, and a number of stations, all AM for the most part, hmm. that at some point became FM because FM was the classical music and the stations run by the universities and, and those kinds of things. And then um, I remember my dad, I was in high school, my dad coming down and we got the, the stereo and he said, now does the bass all go to the left and the treble go to the right? <laughs> no, dad, it's not that way. Balance. Exactly, it's, <laughs> exactly. I mean, that's how new FM was. And uh, we didn't have the choice of really the top 40 and those things back then that we now can get on both AM and FM. So that's, it's much better to the ear. I would agree. Well. You know, when I was at Condega, part of my broadcasting curriculum yes. was having to do a show every semester. Yes. And I did a reggae show. I did a, an 80s show. I did, grunge was the big thing when I was at oh, GU. Oh, okay. So I did, so I had the opportunity as a student to really operate the yep. board. Yep you know, know how to talk into the mic yes, and pull carts, which carts aren't even a thing anymore. Yeah, I was, I was gonna, <laughs> I was gonna say, um, I, I remember substituting on AM 920 for Mike Fitzsimmons and a couple oh, yeah, of the yeah, other yeah. people back mm -hmm. in the real talk show days and, and, and so forth. And then KXOY put in cameras on channel 14 and I oh, had to, right. I had to wear a tie and everything. <laughs> it's like, okay, all the secrets are gone, you right. know, what I'm doing while people are talking and so forth, and you can't scratch where it itches or, <laughs> you know, I mean, just all of that. We have several interns from Gonzaga University. Matter of fact, following me oh, is going to be a gal uh, who is going to interview Kate Hudson, and, and she is a PR marketing Kendall is the intern uh -huh. at Gonzaga and by chance kind of went and thought, well, I'd like to see what this broadcast stuff is like. And do you know what she wants to be now? You know, I always ask, what do you want to be, kid, when you grow up? I want to be an anchor. That was not what she started out to be at Gonzaga. And um, in fact, later this week, she's going to talk about her story with uh, Sulani Madsen um, and the fact that Kendall and her family were burned out in that boulder fire <gasps> around last Christmas. Oh. And so she's going to to talk about that later this week and we're gonna put it out. Good. And we all know about that. And yeah. she spent an extra couple weeks during the Christmas break at home and, and so forth. But we've had some great, uh, the Connor over there, our second Connor, because we have to have two Connors here. <laughs> uh, he's from Whitworth and graduated and ran their radio station up there. So we're getting some students that are coming in with some experience and so forth. Love that. that. Yeah. Well, yeah. good for Whitworth for still having a student run radio station. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, at Gonzaga, I 
somewhere around 1997, yeah. they decided to go all classical. Yes. So the students now only do top of the hour IDs. And yeah. well, when when I was there, we got to, we did everything. We did news. We did yeah. PSAs yep. and. Well, the, uh, the only two stations I listen to on the on the radio now three you can maybe guess what the third one will be <laughs> are the Thank EWU you. station jazz jazz and uh, and uh, uh, Gonzaga because of classical. The fact is, I'm not in my car like I used to be. I live 20 blocks south of here, and it takes me about three minutes to get to work. Car doesn't well, even get warm convenient. in the morning. Well, that's convenient. Yeah. That's yeah. no it, commute at all. No, it's downhill <laughs> sliding, and uphill can be a challenge going home. But but uh, it's it's uh, it's fun to see these students um, uh, graduate on, even those who are marketing and community relations, advertising students, sure. who we put in front of the mic to do the talking because if they're gonna be a, a marketing person for a company, you know they're gonna be pushed in front of a camera at Absolutely. some point. Absolutely. And I've gotten really- Or just in front of a client even. Yes. You have to be- So true. Poised and confident right. and yeah, so right. that's great. And how did we get by? <laughs> Right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Lucky, I guess. Yeah. Or KHQ ratings. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, and and I think about the ratings when you and I were there, when we would be selling to twenty five to 30,000 pairs of eyes for the news that night. And it's less than half these days. That's, and they're the number one news station in town. That's where broadcast is going unfortunately it's well, it's 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 tough. morphing for sure yeah i do think that there is still an audience though yeah no i think it's easy to just yeah. click that on and even if you're not fully engaged yes. you're kind of hearing it well you want to so, know in the morning about the weather for your kids sure, or yes. grandkids and or anything fun happening around town okay fun things fun happen <laughs> where have i been the last Come on, two years kent. <laughs> I, I got to ask, you got a son who is back in Michigan? Correct. Okay. And you were getting ready to have him the last time I think I saw you when we were at KHQ, wasn't it? Oh, my gosh, really? Yeah. You were you were leaving because you were going to have a baby. That was David. Yes. You're right. Yes, yes. Oh, my gosh. So I forgot I've only about seen that. pictures of him, but he's is he enjoying he is university a life? He loves it. Well, he... He, as a young boy, he really loved chess. Okay. That was his thing. You know, he was a big chess tournament guy. Okay. And then as he got into high school, he kind of got into debate. Uh, yes, I remember he reading about that. And yes. he became very good at debate and kind of worked his way up. And now he's coaching and mentoring other students at the university in debate. In his so first his, year? Yeah, as yeah. a freshman. Oh, wow. Judging. Mama's proud, aren't you? Yes. yes. Can you tell? <laughs> yeah, yes. Yes. Did he come home for the holidays? He did. He came home for Christmas. I have both my daughter and son okay. home. Okay. Um, and he's going to come now, home. How old is your daughter? 24. Oh, she's old. <laughs> I'm kidding. Well, not as old as us. <laughs> my, my, my youngest daughter is like 41. Okay, so yeah, yeah. She's my grandkids in. are her age okay. <laughs> and a little bit younger. Well, but. look at you still kicking, though. Yeah, I know. I'm, se I'm 75 and a half. It, and, and the joke is, you know, when you ask the little girl, how old are you? And they'll say, I'm one and a half. Right. Well, that's at the beginning of life. When you get at my end, we, we count the half years, kid. You know, you count everything you can count on. So, uh, but. It's your no. half birthday. Yes, it, like? it is. Yes. I'm, only, I'm actually only a couple months away from turning 76. But, you know, uh, so, someone was telling my wife the other day, well, can't she stay home and take care of you because she's had heart issues and so forth. Oh. My wife says, no, I don't want him home <laughs> 24 hours a day. It's, you know, and I try to get home mid-afternoon and, 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 and so forth. But, but um, what would I be doing? I literally would be, would be bored to death. I agree with you 100%, yeah. and I've heard over and over how people sort of spiral down after yes. they retire because yeah. they're kind of at a loss. Someone, and so your wife is probably right. She probably did you a big favor by saying that. Yeah, someone <laughs> told me the other day, you need to prepare for retirement. Can't we all, and he said, we always talk about the financial preparing, 
But you need to re you also need to plan for retirement, meaning what are you going to do? A lot of my peers, and you would know a lot of them in the community, oh, sure. went and, and worked for Habitat for Humanity. And so, well, they won't let me ne get near a house with a hammer and nail. Okay. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, well, it's obvious. I mean, you know, and so I wanted to leave one more thing that I can contribute to this community. Oh, and this awesome. is it. This, this is, is it. Great. I will retire in a couple Good of years. Good for you. So. Good for you. I, want, I hope I'm still doing and being as busy as you were at that age. Because... I, thought, I thought you were older than me. I'm kidding. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. getting close. She's going to slap me after <laughs> no, the no, program. No, 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 no. I'm getting close. <laughs> no. No. But Are I'm... you having fun? Always. Okay. okay. You know me. Yes. I'm yes. a fun person. Yes, you are. I'm a person that likes to have fun and creates fun. Okay. If someone wants to get in, t in contact with you about Cool FM and yes. your advertising and all of that. Yes. In fact, I visited the studios years ago. Oh, you did? With too? Bob. Is it, is yes. Okay. Bob, that's my he boss. Might, he might remember me. Bob Anthony. Yes. And um, that's his middle name, isn't it, Anthony? Yes, and we won't say his surname. Oh, okay. Okay. I give giving away secrets. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. No. Uh, um, say hi. He, he I may will. or may not remember oh, me nice. from years ago. Um, but uh, yeah, if good place, good equipment, and everything in there. Nice yes, studios. It is. You're still up on 400 Jefferson. No, or? actually, we're now up north. Oh. Okay. We're on um, West Joseph. Oh, okay. Right near Franklin Park. Oh, okay. Okay. But it's it's probably a yeah. lot like what you saw. Yeah, yeah. It's just a different location, just like you. They, you know, we bounce around. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I got to keep away from the folks chasing you. <laughs> oh, the creditors. <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't want to no. say that. Yeah. No, it's okay. Uh, how do people get in touch with you? So, if you want to advertise, which we highly encourage local businesses to, right? Because we're a local business. And we want to support local right. business, and especially right now, it's super important. Yeah. Um, so it's Judy. Uh, this is my email, Judy, J-U-D-I, right. at cool1071.com. Okay. Or if you want to call me, I'm putting my number out right here. All right. Okay. 509-558-9694. All right. And that's how you can get a hold of me, and I'd love to talk to some local businesses and see what we can do to help promote Maybe them. Maybe we can even partner together and put together some joint packages. I love that. Would that. Really, you know, I would really, we're, we're as local as you. Exactly. You know, you know, and that's People so call me local. It's, <laughs> well, you are. Yeah. <laughs> but no, it's so important right yeah. now that, we, you know, with the big corporations yeah. are making their money. Yes. And poor, smaller we're, mom and pop we're, businesses we're, we're, are struggling. We're fighting for every dollar. And so we need yeah. to support them. Yep. Yeah. Great. So that's what I hope I can Judy, do. Judy, so good to see you. you We've too. texted back and forth over the last few years. Yes. A lot has happened. I'm glad to hear that uh, that little one is a freshman at, back in back in uh, Michigan, David. I and I've never met him, but I've seen pictures. He's got a head of hair. Oh my goodness! <laughs> he took out. He inherited that from his granddad. Okay. My dad had. Oh, okay. To the day he was. Does he go to the barber very often? He doesn't really like to go to the bar, well, as you can tell. I kind of could, yeah. Hey, you know what? All those debate kids, though, yes. I, I kid you not, I went to enough tournaments. Those boys like that big, crazy, Einstein, yeah. messy, bleh, whatever yeah. they're doing. Okay. I think as he gets older, though, it, yeah. it'll become yeah. more tame. Yeah, well, we all had do's back oh. way back then 80s hair yeah, yeah 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 hairspray I, I, yeah yes <laughs> so well thank you so much good for having me here good to see you too and i hope everybody will tune in to 107.1 fm all right check I'm out the playlist i'm going to add that to my other two today thank you all right and, thank and you thanks for, for watching the pulse of spokane everybody have a great day all right